What's up dudes and dudettes of the air now my name's Seth and today I'm gonna be showing you how to actually run mods and use them in the game Trove. I used to use Trove Toolbox but now I've noticed that all of the links that I have in my previous tutorials will lead to this page right here and Trove Toolbox doesn't exist anymore. I've tried both the Trove Mod Manager and TroveTools.net, and out of both of them, I personally like TroveTools.net. So you just wanna click download right here, and that's gonna go into your download folder. It's gonna show up as setup.exec, so you just wanna double click that and install it. However, I already have it installed. This is actually a fantastic program that should automatically put a shortcut on your desktop and everything like that, and then as soon as you open it, it should auto-detect the uh, Glyph folder and the Steam folder. But if you don't know, uh, like if you don't actually see these here, you can actually just see the file paths right here, and you just go to Add Location, and then you just follow this chain to the Live folder. Uh, PTS means that you would use a mod on the test server, so you don't really need that. You only need the Live folder and depending on whether or not you use the Steam version or just the normal Glyph version that you down from, download from the Trove website, you can choose either or. Click on My Mods, and again, this program actually auto-detected the mods that I use, but if you don't already know, you just click on Add Mods, and then you just find the zip file that you ended up downloading from Trove Toolbox, or from a Dropbox or something like that. So for example, right here, I have my Overwatch Pack version 3, which I just have in a Trove folder on my computer. You add the zip, and I just want to point this out because it happens a lot with people. If you download a mod, it's going to download as a zip. Do not extract that zip because the zip itself is the mod. One of the coolest features of this mod loader is in the category Get More Mods. You can click that and actually see all the mods that have recently been added to Trove Saurus. Uh, and you can just hover over them to see a picture and everything like that. And you can easily just click Install and it'll automatically download and put it on and everything like that. Uh, I don't know if this is actually connected to the internet or if it actually downloaded it to a folder. Uh, but otherwise, if you do want to download it manually or just check it out in a little bit more detail, you can just click Dragon Slayer right here and it'll automatically open it up in your default browser. So it's actually a fantastically intuitive mod, and all you're really going to need for running and using mods from other players and stuff like that. And that's already it, everybody. This program's pretty handy, too, because it can actually update any of these mods that are out of date. Uh, however, I just have all of these on my computer, so it doesn't really matter. And so long as you have this program running in the background, you can just open Trove, and there you have it. You have your mods. Thanks for watching, everybody. I very much appreciate it. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Hope that you found this helpful in an updated version of how to actually install mods. Oh, and before I forget, I just want to point out in passing that Windows might actually recognize this as a virus, but guaranteed it's actually a working program, so don't worry about it. And unfortunately for Mac users, you can't use mods in Trove. Sorry to say, everybody. Sayonara and stay epic, everybody.